Hello again and welcome to March West Junction term day. Today is a layout update and I'll be going through some of the little extra details I've been adding to the layout. Plus I'll be going over some of the issues that I've come across uh, while doing this project. Hope you enjoy. Right, I'll start off with uh, some of the little problems that I've uh, encountered uh, on the railway. The first thing was this uh, platform. Uh, I fitted the new capping stones and the yellow line uh, from Scatter Model Scenery, which are great. But the issue I had, I decided to seal them in with some clear varnish. And like an idiot, I used some varnish that I've had for a while from Railmatch. And when I sprayed it on, it all went brown and uh, scaly. So I've had to replace the whole top deck of the uh, platform, which has been a bonus as well, because I've managed to redo this end where there was a little step uh, just by where the little yellow cart is, just here. And now it's all in one, so it does look a lot better. The other issue I had was pointed out by a fellow YouTuber is all my point motors, the dummy ones, I had them in the wrong direction. So I've had to replace every single one uh, by turning it round, cleaning them up, and they were all covered with ballast as well. So that was an absolute nightmare. And then I had to re-ballast them in. But I think they look good now, and hopefully I've got them right. Moving on to the detail updates on the layout. At this end of the layout, I always felt it was a little bit bare in the corner. So I fitted some cable trunking and some relay boxes. Now these are from the uh, wheels range, which everyone's familiar with. And then moving down the platform, as you get to these points, I've fitted some uh, ground GWR signals. And these are dummy. And uh, these were from Detail Matters. They're quite good little cast kit, they come pre-painted and everything, you just have to uh, drill a hole and pop them in. And then moving down to the other end of the platform, I've fitted some more cable trunk in here, and then it goes off into the signal box. I've also purchased some of these uh, railway sleepers from Scale Model Scenery, and I've got them scattered around the layout, I've got some there. And where the track is being renewed at this bottom end for the junction connection, I've just done a little pile there as well. I've uh, stained these with uh, sleeper grime, which is from the rail match range. And then we'll move on over to the depot side just to show you what I've been doing over there. Okay, we're over the depot side now, and uh, what I've done with the depot, I've fitted some lights that I bought off YouTube. These are those ones that have got the M3 sticky back LEDs that uh, just plug in using uh, an iPhone plug, and I've fitted them into the roof. Uh, because obviously I've fitted lights, I've decided to fit a brick interior, which you can just about see inside, with some posters, you know, health and safety stuff. Uh, I fitted a little door in there as well, just to have a, a bit more extra detail. And also I fitted some uh, lockers. Now these lockers, they come from uh, unit models. And they're a great little thing. They're a little resin, unpainted products that you just paint up yourself. So I've painted them gray and blue on the outside, similar to the ones that I've got at the uh, workplace where I work. And then moving up, into the yard area. I fitted these little uh, levers for the uh, points. Now these uh, again are from that detail matters and they come ready painted, they're cast and I've just fitted them to a bit of uh, plastic uh, effect wood and I've done the same on the points at the top here, the three-way points. 
further up this end I've added some more of these uh, sleepers from Scale Model Scenery and I've put some track down as well just for the uh, workmen in the yard as spares. Then when you come over to the front of the layout, the fencing, I've added some uh, bushes and these are from the Jarvis range which are quite cheap and they do look quite effective. Now this ends, uh, at this point here, there used to be a relay box and it was pointed out by a fellow YouTuber that they wouldn't really have one there because it's too close to the track. So this has now been removed and taken to the other side of the layout by the station end. And again, I've had to turn all the point motors round because uh, I've put all these in, in the wrong direction as well. In the yard area, I've got some wagons that I'm working on at the moment. And these are the uh, Dundas ones. I think it's part Dundas or something like that. Uh, except for this one, which come free with the Model Rail magazine, or, or Railway Model, I think it was. And it was a grounded body. And what I've done, I've made a plastic card base for the chassis. And the chassis frames come from the kits, because they always send you two in a kit, which is quite handy. So I'm after another one of those uh, grounded frames so I can make another wagon up. These are at the undercoat stage uh, and I'm just debating on what colours to paint them. And these are some other wagons that I've uh, added in my collection that I've been working on. Those are the old Hornby ones there that have been repainted into the Signals uh, livery. Uh, that's another Park and Dundas kit, I think it's called. I, can't, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. And these are the same from the kit at the front. They're EWS and Dutch livery with some old ballast in the tops to weigh them down. And I don't know if you've noticed going around the layout as well, I've had some of these which are from Scale, which are absolutely fantastic. Very impressive, very impressive and cheap I think for £70, free postage. I've got another three coming through the post, they should be here today or tomorrow. And then obviously I've got these nuclear flash wagons on this train at the back here. The one at the very back, number 11, that's with a limited edition, that one is. That's why it's in blue. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, layout update. It's only a small one. Uh, if you were quite impressed with it, hopefully you hit the like button. And uh, if you're not already a subscriber, please uh, hit the subscribe button. And uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.